hello guys welcome to be media um in this video we're going to be looking at how to use chromatic colors in design um we looked at chromatic colors in the previous video on um uh, color theory that was the first video on color theory so we looked at chromatic colors and we said that chromatic colors are you know are colors that that you, you start out with you start out with a hue of that color a hue is just a pure color like a color in its pure form so you start out with a hue then you create sheets of that hue you know, this is the main color this this is the main color this and this are the main color so you start out with a hue then when you create um let me see the shades of this hue then these are called chromatic colors all of these are called chromatic colors or you start and create tints of that color creating tints of that color means you are adding white to it right so you're adding a bit white to the hue of the color or you are adding black to it so you create shades of that color so this so these are tints of this color and these are shades on this color when you when you are adding black to it it's called shades and when you're adding white to it it's called tint all right so let's see how to use it so i'm gonna be uh we're gonna be looking at um, how to create a poster design then how to you know for example let's say you run out of colors and you don't know which color to use you know how to just you know the the main aim and the purpose is that you don't want to use too many colors so you just want to re repeat colors but you don't want to change the form all right so um let's get started and let's create a poster design using this um uh this theory which is chromatic colors so let's get rid of this stuff i'm sorry let's go back to now we still need this so let's make it um let's make it invisible then let's take this out uh, let me bring the image I'm going to use for this design. Um, yeah, I want to use this image for this design. Let me position that exactly at the middle. You know, to always position at the middle, you make sure you click on this relative position and you click on this. All right, so let's lock that there. Then um, I want to change the background color. So I come here and click on, on that. Now let me come and pick the color. Let me come and pick this color here. I want to use this color. Yeah, that's it. So I want to use that color. Then I want a shadow for this um for this um um image right here for this png so i come i want to create let me also show you how to create shadows using um just um circles so let me start out with a circle well, let me just make it white and um, bigger something like this let me let me make it black yeah that's it go to your opacity take it to zero then go to shadow then increase the blur radius then come back again take out another shape this time make it it could be any shape it could be any color watch what i'm going to do right now i'm going to make that invisible and i'm going to i'm going to press that into this color here now the purpose is just for me to be able to add you know match them together so i'll be able to make it invisible again that means reducing the opacity take down the opacity then go back to shadow again increase it a bit then this then let's try to make this bigger again yeah so let's see how that looks so let's take it back and see Uh, so you can't reduce the opacity let's do something for us to reduce the opacity let's add another shape to it let's go to opacity let's take that to zero and i'm gonna add this to yeah merge it together the reason is that we want to reduce the opacity and you can't reduce the opacity of the um of the shape directly since we have already uh since it's just a shadow 
that's why we made them um, we added another shape to it to be able to make it um, an object straight from there then from now uh, now we can see that we can reduce the opacity just using this look at it that's it that's it yeah so we're good we're good then um you know i want to add some things in the background so i go to um I'm gonna add some things in the background. Yeah. Now this thing, I don't, I don't want it to be black, and I don't want to choose too many colors. So I want to use a tint of this background color. I want to use a tint. That means I'm gonna add white to this particular color. Then, now let me show you what I mean. Let me go to color. You know, if I should choose this, of course, it will blend into the background and you won't see it. So I want to use a tint of that color. What do I do now? You know, this is where you can make it a tint by adding white because from here, like this, here is white. So you can add white to it. So let me, uh, let me yeah, I think that's okay. And, uh, let me go back. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Let me take it to the back. bring um, another image or PNG I want this to be the same color but, um, yeah let me choose this This is going to be part of the background, so let me make that cover everything. And I want to take that back, I want to take it to the back, to the back, to the back. Yeah, and um, I want to reduce the opacity. I want to reduce the opacity to something like this. Yeah, that's it. I want to lock that down. Yeah, I want to bring in another shape, another shape, and um, I think this. Same color. I'm gonna align that using positioning. That's it, that's it. Then I want to bring in another image. I want to choose the same. I'm just to spice things up and make it look more professional. Copy that and put one here. Yeah. Then let me bring out a test, a text rather. I think this should uh, should go in a bit. Sometimes just the edge comes out. Just lean 
emphasis that this is actually pizza or pizza whatever pull out the text and I'm gonna write on uh, need a pizza need a let me bring that out first need a pizza um, um, let me select the, the font that I want Yeah, let's use um let's use this one here. Let's use this. Sai green up two or something. So let's let's use that. And the color that I want to use is still a tint of the same color. So let's see how that looks. So let's make it more tint. Uh, let's make let's add more whites to it. So it comes out more. Yeah, that's it. Need a I want to copy that out. Then pizza, pizza. That's it. Need a pizza. Let me look there. Need a pizza. Yeah. All right. Um, I want to put prices now. Let me log those. Copy. R. Zola. I want to use a separate text for this and I want to be careful not to use too many texts and uh, too many fonts I can't uh, uh, yeah Position that very well. So most times you don't need to use too, just too many colors. Just you know pick out you know just a particular color and just use the the uh, the monochromes on that color. Yeah. Let me copy that out. How do I bring that out? Uh, okay, let me use position. Bring it out. Seems it doesn't want to come out. That's it. So I still want to make everything German is black. size the price and make it bigger I can use the relative positioning to make sure that um, it's at the right position now I would like to copy that out and um, still on the price Let me use position. Okay, I think I can do that. That's it, that's it. Then um, I want to make sure this is, is at the right time. Let's shift them down. Let's take this down a bit. Okay. 
understand this. Position does. Yeah. Then um, I pull out another text. Let me just copy this. Then I want to write order now. Order your pizza now. Yeah, that's it. And I want this to be a different color. So I can since and I, again I don't I don't use too many colors. So I can use the idea of picking colors from the image that I'm using. Which is this PNG right here. I'm gonna make sure that it's aligned. Let me go to colors. I want to pick a color from this image. So let me see if I can pick a color. Let me pick, let me pick that and see. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think that that makes sense. Yeah, and that's it. You know, one thing in design is that you don't want to make like you don't want to um put too 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 many text too many stuffs on it so that it looks so you know professional then i think this there should be alignment here there should be alignment here so i need to bring that down so let me let me bring those images and those um first let me bring this down again so there will be alignments yeah then this This is the last one. That's it. And we're good to go. You just save your work. And always save your work as PNG, then Ultra. Save. Not for you to get a high quality of um, the image. Yeah, and that's all. So in the next video, um, we're going to use, um, you know, I'm going to. Still, of course, we we'll still look at mono, monochromes. Then, from monochromes, we will now enter uh, dichromatic and colors and other. Uh, you know that you know we mentioned so many times um, in the previous video, which was the first video on um, uh, color theory. So we we'll still look into those terms. And um, before that, um, there will be a video on um, Bezier tube. So, um, so guys, I'm still safe, and see you in the next video.